calling out cigars. Always removing the whole center net. Why? Here is concentrated more than 90% of the nicotine. We don't use it at all. Because we don't want people to get addicted to cigars. We just want people to enjoy cigars. Mm -hmm. To have a good time, to have pleasure, to satisfy. Because having a cigar is kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. 30, 35 minutes to smoke a cigar like this. It's not like a cigarette and you light it and then you throw it away. Mm -hmm. So we remove the whole central lane because our cigars has only 0.2% of nicotine. So light leaf from the bottom of the plant, the two first levels. In the factories, when they make cigars in the factories, they remove just this part. Oh. And they leave the other part in the tobacco leaf, why? They need people to get addicted to cigars, oh, yeah. to sell more. I'm not saying, and I will never say, that cigars from the factories are bad. I'm just telling you that ours are more organic, more natural, and less dangerous for health. And you can notice, you can feel that the smoke of this cigar does not stink and does not bother people around, no matter if they smoke or not, because just few nicotine. So light leaf on the bottom of the plant. <coughs> Always removing the central nerve. Remember, we can use it to make perfumes. Strongly from the top, lightly from the bottom. And another leaf from the central part. Remember, for the structure of the cigar, the binder leaf but always getting rid of the center nerve. In this case, we are going to use only one half. So this is going to be the binder leaf of the structure of the cigar. Put the leaves into the binder. We use this blade called chabeta, made from a machete to cut chabeta. Mm -hmm. As a ruler, I use my hand, 12 centimeters, the same size of Monte Cristo number four. So, what we do with the endings? Remember, we just keep 10% of the production. Right endings to the left, left endings to the right, to make a balance the combustion, the flavor, the taste, the aroma of the cigar will be the same at the time you smoke it. Mm -hmm. And we begin rolling the cigar like making a sushi. <laughs> <laughs> as a glue, as you said before, we use honey. You see, all the ingredients are natural and organic. And we begin like making a massage because Lucas, Cigars are like women. <laughs> we have to handle it with care, with love, with a mm -hmm. lot of patience. <laughs> so we roll it always forward, never backward. If you do it backward, you unroll it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we do it like this. We have to do the same procedure to each cigar, one by one. We cut hair. We roll cigars every day. We smoke cigars every day. We keep traditions. The best, the best time to roll cigars early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Why? At this time, the weather is more humid. Mm -hmm. The leaves are more flexible, more elastic. But we keep traditions. Early in the morning, we roll cigars. We smoke cigars and we drink coffee. Late in the afternoon, we roll cigars. We smoke cigars and we drink vitamin R. <laughs> so we... Continue pressing it a bit more. We put it on paper. Different from the factories that they use a mold and a press, we use paper. White paper, no ink, because tobacco leaves is like a sponge, absorbs everything. And paper absorbs the humidity of the tobacco leaves and also for the shape of the cigar. We continue pressing a little bit more.
Then we leave it in the room for one day or the whole night resting. Paper continues the absorption of the humidity mm -hmm. and then the cigar is ready to be dressed with the external leaf, the wrapper leaf. Remember the leaf growing in the central plant part of the plant, elastic, flexible, thin. So it's the wrapper leaf. So we put it like this in a diagonal way. We put some honey. We take filler leaf. Filler leaf gives the cigar the combustion, the flavor, the taste, the aroma. The binder is for the structure and the wrapper is for the site. And we begin dressing the cigar. Stretching later. And that's it. Not ready to smoke yet because it's still humid. Mm -hmm. We have to put it on paper again for two or three more days and then it will be ready to smoke. Okay. That's the cigar you are smoking. 